Thank you very much for tuning in. I do not replace scripture study. Everyone should be reading on their own, pondering his truths, and gaining a testimony for themselves by the power of the Holy Spirit. However, I would like to be a witness for the Savior that he lives, he will return, and we should all be preparing for that glorious day. And without further delay, let's go ahead and continue our studies. So we're in Mosiah chapter 6. This will be a quicker chapter, but as I always do, I will read and expound as we go along. Mosiah chapter 6. King Benjamin records the names of the people and appoints priests to teach them. Mosiah reigns as a righteous king. Verse 1. And now King Benjamin thought it was expedient after having finished speaking to the people that he should take the names of all those who had entered into a covenant with God to keep his commandments. Verse 2. And it came to pass that there was not one soul except there were little children but who had entered into the covenant and had taken upon them the name of Christ. Verse 3, And again, it came to pass when King, that when King Benjamin had made an end of all these things and had consecrated his son Mosiah to be a ruler and a king over his people and had given him all the charges concerning the kingdom and also had appointed priests to teach the people that thereby they might hear and know the commandments of God and to stir them up in remembrance of the oath which they had made, he dismissed the multitude, and they returned everyone according to their families to their own homes. So a couple of things stuck out to me. The first thing in um, verse one was the church does do this. That when someone someone is baptized and they join the church, we take down their name, their contact information, so we'll have a way to reach out to them. And also vice versa, they'll have a way to reach out to other members of the ward. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, what he mentioned about that word charges. So when you think about charges, I know us here, we can also think about charges could be like something you did wrong, like a crime. But in this case, he's saying charges are giving them authority. So now, again, King Benjamin is passing over the, the responsibility as being the king to his son. So now the charges, again, he gave all the authority to King Mosiah. Verse four, and Mosiah began to reign in his father's steed, and he began to reign in the 30th year of his age, making in the whole about 460, uh, 476 years from the time that Lehi left Jerusalem. Verse five, and King Benjamin lived three years and he died. Verse six, and it came to pass that King Mosiah did walk in the ways of the Lord and did observe his judgments and his statutes, and did keep his commandments in all things whatsoever he commanded him. Verse 7, And King Mosiah did ca cause his people that they should till the earth, and he also himself did till the earth, that thereby he might not become burdensome to his people, that he might do according to that which his father had done in all things, and there was no contention among all his people for the space of three years. King Benjamin, and that concludes the chapter, King Benjamin set a great example, and King Mosiah is following that same example, which is something that's very powerful to understand, that a king serving his people and not just letting the people serve him. So this last verse, verse 7, I like this verse. King Mosiah is saying specifically burdensome. So obviously, if the king is also serving the people, helping out. So we, everyone do their part, basically. We don't want anyone to just not be helping out when they can be helping. So I like that about um, King Mosiah. And that concludes the chapter. And I want to conclude with my testimony as well, that I know these things are true, that the Book of Mormon is the Holy Word of God, and so is the Bible, and that those that consider the Bible to be the Holy Word of God should also take the time to ponder the Book of Mormon and to do the promise that is mentioned at the end where you pray and ask Heavenly Father if it is true. I know that it is true. This is the Holy Word of God that we are reading. I know that if we continue to study this book, we will draw closer to God than by any other book. Just like the prophet Joseph Smith testified, I know that he is a prophet 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have studied the Book of Mormon. I have prayed about this book. It is holy, and we are blessed to have this book. I know that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the restored church, and that we should do all we can to share the truth with everyone. And I know all these things are true, and I leave y'all with my testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.